The UK has been conducting airstrikes against Islamic State in Iraq since September 30, 2014. This involved eight Tornado GR4 aircraft flying from Cyprus, as well as up to 10 Reaper UAVs. In support, they also have the Sentinel surveillance aircraft, the Rivet Joint electronic war warfare aircraft, and also the E3D Sentry command and control aircraft. We also see the Voyager air to refueler acting support as well. Airstrikes against Syria started in December 2015, and this saw the addition of two extra Tornado GR5s and six Eurofighter Typhoons. In total, since September 2014 through to August 2016, there have been 1,005 separate airstrikes carried out by the RAF. This has involved 2,075 separate munitions being released. A total of seven different weapon systems have been used by the RAF during airstrikes against Iraq and Syria. This includes 1,325 Raytheon Paveway 4 munitions, 475 Hellfire and 212 Brimstone munitions. The majority of Paveway 4 munitions have been used against Islamic State in Iraq, with 666 munitions used by Tornado aircraft and 563 used by the Eurofighter Typhoon. This is compared to 96 Paveway 4 munitions that have been used against Islamic State in Syria. Just 10% of the munitions used have been the Brimstone 2 missile. This is surprising due to the fact that the UK was so keen to highlight its unique capability with this weapon system. However, this could be due to the fact that there were delays getting the Brimstone 2 into service. Um, it also highlights the sheer versatility of the Paveway 4 munition in engaging a wide variety of targets as well. The types of targets being engaged have varied across the course of the operation. Um, during the early stages of the campaign in 2014, we saw many of the targets being classed as enemy in the open. This is Islamic State fighters in open ground. Um, and the reason for this is because the RF were trying to stem the Islamic State offensive and were engaging enemy forces on the advance. But then around November 2015, we see a sharp rise in the number of enemy forces in buildings as opposed to in the open. This could be due to the fact that the RF then went on the offensive and were engaging targets in buildings and, and supporting troops on the ground on the attack rather than fighting a defensive war. During the first 12 months of the campaign from September 2014 through to August 2015, they saw a total of 144 airstrikes against enemy in the open, and this includes enemy in vehicles such as, such as armour. In contrast, there were only 67 engagements against enemy forces in buildings. In the 12 months directly following this period, we saw a sharp rise in the number of attacks against enemy in buildings, with 536. And this is opposed to 284 against enemy in the open. So we can see the fact that we have seen a significant change in the types of targets in the first half of the campaign through to the second half. In Syria, the major focus has been against infrastructure, with 14% of strikes being against petrol and oil-based targets, such as oil refineries, for example. The majority of strikes, however, have also been against enemy forces located in buildings. And this does tell you the difference between the types of campaign being waged in Syria versus the ones in Iraq. In Syria, it's been a much more offensive operation in order to drive Islamic State from their territory. Whereas Iraq, as you can see, it was more a defensive effort initially, which is why we see the differences in the types of target being engaged. The exact number of Reaper aircraft being used um, over Syria and Iraq has not actually been disclosed but we know that up to 10 Reaper UAVs have been made available. In strikes against Syria, attacks by Reaper UAVs account for 28% of all airstrikes, as this is opposed to Eurofighter Typhoon, which only accounts for 22%. This reflects the ability of Reaper UAV to remain on station. However, the majority of airstrikes have still been carried out by Tornado GR4s, with 46% of munitions being delivered by this aircraft. The airstrikes against Islamic State in Syria and Iraq carried out by the RAF represent a significant increase in the number of strikes carried out in recent years. Um, this has the impact in terms of logistics and actually keeping munitions supplied and we expect to see the market for precision guide weapons increase significantly as stocks need to be resupplied. But it should also remember that the UK contribution is very small compared to the US um, and only accounts for approximately 7% of all missions. 
Um, so the US contribution is far bigger um, than the UK.